What if you spend a nanosecond on the sun? Let's say for just one billionth of a second, you were teleported directly to the surface of the sun. Could you survive? What would happen to your body? And would there be any trace of you left behind? Let's dive into this fiery thought experiment and break down the science of spending a nanosecond on the sun. The sun is an extraordinary nuclear powerhouse. Its core reaches temperatures of 15 million degrees Celsius. While the photosphere, the surface we see, burns at around 5,500 degrees Celsius, or 9,932 degrees Fahrenheit. That's hot enough to vaporize nearly everything instantly. And yet, this is where we're placing you for this thought experiment. But don't worry, it'll only be for a nanosecond. In one billionth of a second, the sun's intense heat would wreak havoc on your body. First, the extreme temperature would ionize the outermost layers of your skin, turning it into plasma, a superheated state where atoms lose their electrons. Water molecules in your body would absorb so much energy that they'd vaporize instantly, causing an explosive expansion. However, in just a nanosecond, this vaporization wouldn't have time to spread deeper into your body. Most of the damage would be superficial, or at least as superficial as total obliteration can be. The radiation would also be catastrophic. You'd be hit with an intense blast of ultraviolet light, X-rays and gamma rays, equivalent to millions of X-rays all at once. The good news, you wouldn't feel a thing. Pain signals in your body take milliseconds to travel to your brain. A nanosecond is so brief that you'd be obliterated before your nervous system even knew something was wrong. What about the sun? Would your brief visit make any impact? Not really. The sun is so massive that your body would be less than a microscopic blip. When you vaporize, the particles from your body would integrate into the sun's plasma almost instantly. You'd emit a tiny burst of light, but even that would be imperceptible compared to the sun's ongoing energy output. A nanosecond is so brief that light travels only about 30 centimeters, or roughly the length of your forearm, in that time. For comparison, the blink of an eye takes about 400 million nanoseconds. In the time it takes light to travel the length of your arm, your journey to the sun would already be over. What if we had advanced technology? Could a supersuit protect you? Unfortunately, no material on Earth or in theoretical physics can withstand the sun's surface temperatures and radiation. Even the toughest heat-resistant materials would vaporize in a fraction of a second. The sun is both life-giving and incredibly hostile. This thought experiment highlights the extremes of nature and how tiny and fragile we are in the grand scale of the universe. It's a reminder of the vast power of the cosmos and the limits of human endurance. While we'll never stand on the sun's surface, even for a nanosecond, we can still marvel at its incredible beauty and energy. So what if you spent a nanosecond on the sun? You'd be gone before you even knew it, leaving no trace behind. It's a fiery, fleeting reminder of the sheer power of the universe. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more mind-blowing science explorations. See you next time. Next.